I'm about to send my latest short film together to this film festival here in south of Sweden and they require a DCP digital cinema package delivery format. So in this video I will be talking about how I approach converting my short film together to a DCP file format. So just a quick disclaimer before we start, I just want to share how I am doing my DCP conversion, but you know, I might be wrong and providing some incorrect information here, but if you really need a professional DCP, maybe you should hire a professional or watch other tutorials and don't just take my word for it. I will update the comment section if there's any incorrect information that I am saying in this video. And also if you want to add something that I missed, please let me know in the comment section. So first, let's have a look at the specification I got from the theater. So the first we get is, don't forget to add the full name of the title, which seems reasonable. And then we get frame rates, uh, 24, 25, 30, that's okay. Aspect ratio, uh, we have format, flat or scope. Your format should contain itself within the before mentioned, okay. Sound format, two channel stereo 2.0 should be avoided, okay. I'm going to talk about how we can make a simple 5.1 mix inside of Resolve using a plugin that is pretty cool. Subtitles can be burnt in or SMPTE or interrupt. I have no idea what that is. So I know that Resolve can export DCPs, so I looked at some tutorials and here's how I did. So the first thing I needed to do was to change my project to correct resolution. As you can see, I've already changed it to 4096 4, times 1716, because that is DCI scope 2.39. So what else do we need to do? We need to go into Fairlight and press bus format and change this to 5.1 because that is the preferred audio format for DCP. When we change this audio going from stereo to a 5.1 surround mix, what can we do to, to uh, utilize all of those channels here in DaVinci Resolve? Biggest problem is that I don't have a setup with speakers so I can listen to my mix in, in surround sound. But I found this very fun plugin that actually can use your camera on your laptop to track your head. And if you use headphones, this will make some kind of a fake surround sound inside of these headphones that you're using. So I've been trying to make a, a simple 5.1 mix inside of Resolve using this, this plugin. It's a Waves plugin that is called NX and actually bought this long time ago. So my movie is going to be shown in the end of October, so I'm gonna have to keep you posted if, if my mix worked with this kind of setup. So I can just touch on quickly how you can make a mix inside of Resolved for the DCP. After you set it to a 5.1 mix, you can go in here in your pants and just change where you want to place your, your track in the stereo field or in the surround field. For example, you can put it here in the, in the stereo channels in front of you and also in the center. Or maybe you just want it smack in the middle like this, only in the center channel. So what I did, I took all my dialogue and put all of those tracks from my characters straight down the center channel and I put all my ambience in all of the speakers. For example, in my short film, when we have all of those flies, those sounds are here in, in my ambience tracks. So when these flies flying around, we're going to have all of these flies in the surround speakers behind the audience. Getting that immersive feeling with surround sound. And the music, I chose to put the music just in my stereo speakers in front of the audience and also in the center channel. I don't know if that's, um, that's something that you normally do. Maybe you shouldn't use the center channel for music, but I, it doesn't seem like I can remove the center channel here. Uh, do you know if we can do that? Also here in this panel, you can send your tracks to the LFE, you know, the subwoofer, in the, in the theater. 
And I'm a little bit worried how much I am supposed to send to this channel. If you ask Google, you can send 10 decibels more into the LFE channel compared to any other channels. So it's, it seems like there's quite a lot of headroom for how much you can send to the LFE channel. But worst case scenario, if I'm mixing my LFE channel here and I'm getting a little bit carried away and then we have some kind of an impact in my, in my short film and this whole theater explodes because I was sending way too much audio into the LFE channel. I will probably try to be a little bit conservative when I'm mixing the LFE channel for this DCP delivery. Basically, now it's time to render out the DCP and here is how I did that. I actually saved a preset here and here's my set settings that I used. DCP Kakadu JPEG 2000 4K DCI scope because that's the that's the settings that we chose in the product settings or the timeline settings actually. And then we have uh, bitrate and according to other tutorials this is fine. Because I'm using a MacBook I'm using the Gamatag Rec 709A. Down here in the subtitle settings I chose to burn my subtitles into my movie because uh, my movie is Swedish, they talk Swedish so I need to burn my subtitles into the movie so, so non-Swedish people can follow along at the festival. And here at the audio section I'm using the standard settings actually and you can see that my output track here is a 5.1 mix. So then we render out this short film into a DCP file format but how can we check so that everything's working fine? You can import your DCP file back into Resolve but I wanted to use another program just to just to have uh, another opinion, you know. So I found this app called DCP Omatic. You can download it for free or you can donate. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do a test project here and then add my DCP that I converted. This is just a section of the movie because rendering DCP is quite slow. So check small sections before you render out the entire movie. But right from the start here you can see that it looks pretty good. You can actually play it and we can hear we have audio. But first I had some issues with data levels and I will show you here if we go into this one. So I ignore these logos. I tried another codec inside of Resolve but if you use the ECDCP EC you will get these uh, logo types. So I, I'm guessing that you need some kind of license to use this uh, codec. Behind the logos I think you can see that my black levels is quite washed out. So the reason that this happens I think is because Resolve is tagging your DCP in an incorrect data level format. So what I had to do is to go in here under render settings, I changed the data levels to full. So if you can see here, if we do a little comparison, you can see the black levels here in this version. And if we go back to the previous one, so here's the new version, the recent version with the data levels correct. I mean, my grid has still got some raised blacks. It's not as pronounced as the other one with incorrect data levels. Okay, so that is my current understanding how you can take your movie project and convert that to a DCP using Resolve and also have some kind of a low budget 5.1 uh, mix down, but uh, as I stated before, I'm I'm experimenting and I will uh, add new information in the comment section. So if I'm way out with some of the things I've been saying here, please let me know. But I hope this still was to some help, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.